Okay, so today I want to talk about change. And the reason I want to talk about change is because I feel like I've changed my life so dramatically from... I'm going to get into that after. But I don't want it to... I don't want to sound like a cringe lord right now, but I do want to have an impact on people's lives that I feel like with my experience and the things that I've gone through, like I'm not a psychologist, I don't know what the psychology is behind my change, but all I know is that I've changed my life so dramatically and I feel like the lessons that I picked up on this are, yeah, really big and I really want to share it with you guys and also something for me to look back on in the future. But another thing is like the feeling of fulfillment that you get like the inner fulfillment like it's like a sense of like peace it's like a sense of just obviously as humans we're always going to want like some kind of validation and we're always going to want to be like liked by people but the extent of where when you're insecure and anxious to the extent where you feel more fulfilled is just really minimal like you just feel like so content with yourself And I'd really want people to experience that. And I feel like a lot of people are seeking that or a lot of people don't even know what they're seeking. But I feel like fulfillment is one of the things that we as humans strive to have. So, so, okay, I'm going to also get into what my life looked like before. So I don't sound like I'm just giving like, I don't know. Like I, one thing I really don't want to do on my channel is give false advice or advice that I haven't lived through my own where it feels just genuine and I think stating what my life used to look like before to what my life is right now is going to kind of give you guys like an indication of how much it really has changed because I think it definitely changed like 180 so I was at a state of mind and I f- at a state of mind where I was like in a dark room and I was really overweight I was severely anxious where even the thought of going outside to like would be too much for me it would be too overwhelming going to the supermarket was already enough hassle for me to just go and get a shit ton of stu- a junk food i would avoid all I, I i would avoid all eye contact in the mirror with myself in the bathroom because i would know the disappointment that i would feel i ruined most of my relationships with my family my friends was ruined because i um was really aggravated i w- my i had severe mood swings and i had a crazy social media addiction where i just was living i was basically living over people's lives i wasn't living my own life and this is one of the biggest things that even caused me to change is because i was so scared i was so like i was so yeah i I just had like a crazy fear of is this really how my life is going to look like is this really what life is supposed to be like just living on automatic pilot just seeing every day go by day, not knowing if it was a Tuesday or a Saturday. And I was so, I was failing school so bad that I had to get left a year behind. And yeah, I had no motivations, no ambitions. I feel like nowadays, especially, especially in Western cultures, I see this a lot where because people have like people were too comfortable nowadays i was way too comfortable i wasn't pushing myself enough and i want you guys to understand that it's a privilege where even you sitting right now watching this youtube video in amidst a comfortable place it's a privilege for you to be able to dedicate that time for like a documentary or you to watch this youtube video it's a privilege to have the decision of what you're going to do with your time and i didn't know i was not responsible I didn't know how to allocate my time. I didn't know what to put my time in. I was just doing whatever the fuck I wanted to do, playing video games, uh, watching stupid reality TV shows, filling my brain with such useless information, with TikTok, with Instagram. And yeah, I think people are way too comfortable right now. And I think as humans, we need that level of challenge in order to be mentally stable. We like There's a difference between too much challenge where in developing countries, for I'm gonna just give an example, in developing countries, for them, it's like life or death. It's like, they have to think about if they're gonna have food for the next day, if they're gonna have water, if they're gonna have shelter for the next day. And in Western cultures, the standards of living are quite high, where we don't have to think about these things. It is a privilege that we don't have to think about these things. That's another, that's one of the reasons why I did Ramadan uh, for, I think three weeks I did Ramadan for is because of the grateful aspect of it 
where we just have to remind ourselves and keep ourselves humble in a sense. So, so now that I got this out of the way, I want to talk about the concept of problems and doing things you don't want to do. Like I said, I think nowadays people are way too comfortable with their lives. I think people are just living and not questioning things. And a lot of people don't even know themselves. And I've noticed that once I started doing tasks which were uncomfortable, which were hard, my standard of problems, like, they increased. Like, the harder the tasks that I used to think were hard were not hard anymore. The same way that... Like, I used to live in Russia. And life in Russia is way harder than life here in Europe. And I've noticed, like, with my friends, the, and this is not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, I'm just stating how it is, that, like, a problem for them would be, like, oh, like, gossip. Like, they would overthink that. In Russia, like, with my friends, like, that would have never been, like, we would just be like, ah, it is what it is. Like, it just happens. You know, we would just move on. Like, the standard of problems are just completely different depending also on your environment and where you live and just yourself. Once you do harder tasks, that bar heightens. That bar heightens. And with harder tasks, I want to talk about a concept where I think you've heard a lot of gurus talk about this, but it's kind of a cringe word, but it's like called monk mode, where you just dedicate a set stage of your life for yourself, like being basically selfish. And I entered that stage not even knowing that I was entering it. I just knew that I had to change my life somehow and I started by just deleting social media because I knew that I couldn't control myself on it and I knew that it was just taking so much of my confidence, it was taking so much of my time where suddenly when I deleted it I had time to do so many other tasks, I had time to start living my life and that's kind of where it started. So. <coughs> you might think that it might be selfish to just go into a stage of your life where it's just you say no to so many things and for me it was brutal i deleted everything i cut contact with a lot of people that were holding me back i changed i started i never thought i would do this I, would, I started running 10 kilometers when i was like on the verge of death i changed my nutrition completely uh Another thing is that there's so many distractions where, like, for example, social media, like, anything could be a distraction, even food. For me, I turned to food because I couldn't cope with a lot of my emotions, and it was just, food was just kind of something that I filled my void in, and yeah, like, a lot of people can say that you just have to take steps at a time where you just have to be slow and ease into change for me i was at such a low point in my life where i was just like no like i can't like i just have to completely switch my life over and yeah i did that and i with every single thing like i was pushing myself at every single thing like you might like even at the like even at the smallest things for example i would, I would go to the sauna and i when i felt my mind giving up I would just sit in there and tell myself that it was just my mind. I in Finland, I would I would be in Finland, and during the winter time, you there's a thing called like the, the ice plunge, but they have it in lakes and it's like a big hole, and I would just force myself to sit in there. For like, I was brutal to myself, and my ideology was this: is that me being selfish me saying no to a lot of things and just focusing on myself for a period a stage of my life on the long term grand scale of things would have a more positive impact on the people that are around me and on myself like again with a self fulfillment i felt so much more content with myself when i knew that i pushed myself when i knew that i was being uncomfortable and i feel like that like the lessons that i learned through there the lessons that I picked up on through being so harsh on myself are gonna stick with me my whole life and you sitting here and watching this video like I'm just explaining these concepts but the only way you can actually change is going out and doing these things is going out and seeking to be uncomfortable 
in whatever form, shape, or way you want to do. Just things that you would never thought you would do in your life, you do and prove to yourself that you can because that builds confidence in yourself. And just doing shit that you don't want to do. Like I, even the smallest things, you know, like having my alarm and knowing that I had to get up at seven in the morning. Like there was one day that I just told myself, I want to get up at four in the morning just to prove to myself that I could do it. And I failed like two times before I actually did it. But once I did it, I proved to myself that I could do it and building that word for myself. Like we're constantly seeking approval from other people, but maybe you should seek approval from yourself. Maybe you should seek approval and fulfillment from yourself. Maybe you should focus on how you view yourself more instead of how other people view yourself. And once you make that turnover, and once you make that switch, I feel like life just gets so much easier because your minimization of seeking that validation from other people decreases and you start forming your own opinions about how you should live your life because we pick up on so many ideologies that we don't even know like we don't even question from our family from our friends from social media from what we see online about how we should live our lives like right now a lot of people are entering university like in my year group and I've seen so many people go into careers, into courses that they don't even want to do, but because they have that pressure from their family, they're gonna end up doing. And what's gonna end up happening is that later in life they're gonna realize that this is what I'm gonna be this is not what I enjoy doing. But the point I'm trying to get at is that a lot of people don't know themselves. A lot of people don't know how they want to live their lives. And once you enter that stage, that monk mode, which however cringe that sounds, but I'm just calling a monk mode because for the sake of the simplicity you realize that you don't know yourself you don't know your your flaws you don't know how you want to live your life at you don't know what you're good at you don't know what you're bad at you have a fixed version of yourself in your head that in reality may not even be there so obviously it's easier to live in ignorance and that's another thing is that i what i would do is that i would pick up the camera and i would just film only videos for myself where i would just lay everything out on the table it, like just be so raw with myself and I knew that this video was only for myself where I would just talk about concepts I would debate with myself and yeah I may sound crazy right now but generally just having conversations and learning to be okay with and enjoying your own company is also another thing that a lot of people lack so um yeah it is easier to live in ignorance it is easier not to ask yourself these qu hard questions about what are my behaviors telling me about myself how do i want to live my life um am i are my actions and my habits are they complying and lining up to the version that i have of myself in my head am i making an impact on other people what does fulfillment look like for myself and overthinking these kinds of issues instead of gossip or instead of what my next meal is going to be like or these simple simplistic thoughts that you have in your head to me that kind of overthinking is never bad because it forces you to be more human and it forces you to have that impact on other people and also asking yourself am i the am i the, the are the relationships that i have with other people are they meaningful are they um Am I making a change in other people's life? And I think one of the key components of fulfillment is having the impact on other people's lives. And this all sounds good, but you may not be at a such low point of your life where you just wanted to change everything, nutrition, physical appearance, mental, how you think about things, but maybe it's something more niche. And I wanna talk about prioritization because you can't do everything and learning to say no to things and realizing that like i said there's so many distractions in your life and learning to say no to these distractions is such a big skill and looking at everything as a skill puts your mind to ease because you realize that you can get better at everything it's just prioritizing what it is you want to get better at if you're unhappy with your physical state because in reality our physical state people can say whatever the fuck they want about accepting themselves like yeah you can accept yourself but you can also change yourself and I feel like people should strive to change themselves in a better sense and your physical appearance does a play does in reality play a big role on your confidence levels whether you want to admit it or not 
So there's nothing wrong with trying to change yourself physically. But realizing that you can get better at everything is just so, um, I guess it makes you, I may, it makes you feel at peace in the sense that if there's something you want to change, like a lot of things are in your control. And like I said, with every single thing you push yourself at, you come out with a lesson that you can translate onto different areas of life. I noticed that if you push myself in the gym, I would put I would notice that I would push myself more at other parts of my life because I'd be like, if I could push myself in this, I could push myself in studying, I could push myself in working. So you're the same way you judge other people for their actions instead of like a, a person can yap and yap about yeah, I'm this kind of person, I'm that kind of person, but you judge people for their actions. So why would that not apply to you? You can, you should also judge yourself for your actions. The same way asking yourself, are my actions, are they lining up with the version that I have of myself in my head? Your behaviors and what you do on a daily basis is essentially you. You can control what you do. And maybe I am speaking from a privileged standpoint where, like I said, you can decide what it is that you want to put your time into and allocate your time into. But accepting that privilege, there's nothing wrong with that. Just being that parent for yourself to tell yourself no or you have to do that. Basically, um, basically learning to put your feelings aside sometimes when you know you have to complete a task and just think about things a little more objective. Look, I had to ask myself a lot of hard questions. Um, for example, I could want a lot of things. I could want a better relationship. I could want to be attracting more high value friends. I could want to be in a more high value position. But is the way that I'm living currently, are my actions kind of reflecting that? And I realized that no, like the way I'm living my life, the way I'm looking right now, the way my thoughts are, they're not, like they're not reflecting that. They're not reflecting the life that I want to be living. And the only way I could change that is through the habits, is through um the it's through the habits it's through what i put my time into now a little tip is that i've been doing this for like two years now is that i was doing to-do lists and every single day i just write down exactly what i want to do and i not only that i write i eradicate a lot of tasks that i would waste my time on but also it kind of gave me a sense of direction and purpose like where i felt like i was heading the right way and it, that's another thing that it made me feel fulfilled because I felt like I was being more productive in how I live my life. And yeah, I could get into the whole philosophy of productivity and um, what that even means and how it's subjective and how maybe that's not the only thing you should be chasing in life, but this video is just dedicated for change. And I feel like changing yourself in the positive step and knowing and that feeling of knowing that you're going to bed and you made a step forward in some kind of way in your life it's really fulfilling so another thing is that I already spoke about this but the fact that pe people don't I really do believe that people don't know themselves and people don't know where they're heading and how they want to live their lives and what they want to change in their lives and the first step to that is just being aware and like I said picking up the camera and just talking to yourself but I want to advocate that being aware and discussing these philosophies and discussing these and overthinking yourself that's not going to change you it's just going to put you into the step in the right direction it's just going to put you into i guess a state where you, damn like i know this is not how i want to live my life but asking yourself the question what can i do about this how can i change this how could i fix this instead of just complaining instead of just being like damn like that's just me. I hate the excuse of people just saying this is just the way I am because I feel like we as people are fluid. We change depending on our environment. We change depending on the people around us. We could be more empath empathetic at one situation at one point of our lives. We could be more harsh at one point of our lives. But the point is that we as people change. Now the worst thing that people can do is just being aware of exactly what they want to do to change. And a lot of people are like a lot of people, like people with addictions, they know that smoking is unhealthy people that are more newbies they know that being more newbies is not healthy for them but a a lot of people don't have the information to change and that's another thing with like self-educating yourself where we're so lucky nowadays we're so privileged to have so much access to good education online but then it reaches a stage where you're just procrastinating but that's another thing 
the point is that a lot of people are aware that they want to change. A lot of people know exactly, in fact, a lot of people know exactly what they have to do to change. But implementing that change and sticking to that is where actual change is because change lies within your own identity and the way you see yourself. So the only, if you run once, you don't call yourself a runner. If you go to the gym once, you don't say you're going to the gym. You, if you do a hard task once, you don't say you think you're hardcore. Like with identity, it's all about consistency. And that's kind of where I want you guys to understand is that you shouldn't be chasing perfection. You should be chasing just showing up to the gym. You should be chasing, you should be chasing the fact that you are consistently doing something. Maybe not 100% all the time, every single day, but just being able to look at yourself and be like yeah i'm going to the gym i'm still trying i'm still putting in the effort and that links with the fact that you're just doing these hard tasks that links with the fact that you just have to say no to your feelings sometimes and accept that your feelings are going to be changing every single day and they're fluid and that your mood changes but there's just things that you just have to do in your life there's times when you just have to delay the gratification there's times when you just have to do the hard task because you know that Going to the gym in the morning is going to make you more productive throughout the whole day. It's going to make you more content with yourself throughout the whole day. So your feelings fluctuate and that's perfectly fine and that's perfectly reasonable. Now, I'm just going to dip my toes in this because the point of this whole video isn't to give you intra-specific things about the things that I've done. Yes, I deleted social media. Yes, I changed my nutrition and basically eradicated carbs. Yes, I started exercising, running, going to the gym. Yes, I avoided distractions. And yes, I started building so many more new experiences and started saying yes to a lot of hard things that I never thought I would do. But these are just the micro things. The point of the video is that you should be challenging yourself on a daily basis because that I've noticed that when I did that, my thought process, the way I thought about situations, my rationale about things, it completely changed and the experiences and the education that you get from that like if you just go and set a stage of your life a period of your life where you just dedicate to just being selfish in the sense that you just hit at it i hit at it and just push yourself and push yourself it really is something that I want everyone to experience in their lives, especially if they have the time and privilege to do so. Now, I think this is something that I just kind of cannot avoid saying, and this is kind of my last point, so I don't yap for too long, but your environment is essential to how you are. Like, have you guys noticed, compare yourself when you're on holiday, compare yourself when you're living by yourself, compare yourself when you're living in a different country, compare yourself even when you're in the workforce, compare yourself when you're in the gym, you change depending on your environment, your mood changes depending on your environment. And that's another thing that we have to accept. So making it easier for yourself, if you can make it easier for yourself, for example, surrounding yourself with the right type of people, um, because we're always going to be influenced by our environment and this is just a reality we have to accept it's like a biological thing we have to accept so uh for example with junk food if i'm trying to change my nutrition and my health eradicating all junk food from my house makes it so much easier for myself to stick to my nutrition plan i'd really recommend you guys to read atomic habits because um he, james clear he kind of talks about how uh, he kind of talks about how um, how habits are formed and how it's easier to sustain a habit when it's when it's like right in front of you. But I'm not gonna get into that. I really want you guys to read it yourselves because I'm not gonna give you guys a summary. It's something that you just have to fucking read. I want to end this video on the fact that there's so much more to life than just constantly trying to change yourself. There's so much more to life than just um, grinding and um, living your life objectively even though I did say that you should dedicate a stage or a period of your life for that but it's about experiences and just realizing it's just so freeing to know that you dictate how your life plays out only you dictate your how your life plays out and how one decision can change everything like me moving to the Netherlands it was 
basically my decision i'm the one like with all the effort that i put into it if i just decided not to do that if i decided not to go to the gym if i decided just to binge eat how that one decision would impact the way that i see myself and my perception of myself would change completely and the respect that i have myself would change completely and i think it's really freeing to know that this is all in your control so ask yourself what it is you're trying to seek in your life whether it's fulfillment i do believe that everyone is trying to seek fulfillment they just don't know what it is for them for me it's making an impact on other people and it's being able to be so content with myself in a sense to also provide for my family and to also have so many experiences and interests and just living your life and i think that with change once you change yourself i think you can have that bigger impact on the people around you surrounding yourself which i've also noticed and the relationships you form with other people and the conversations you have with them and how much you learn from them like i can generally talk about this for hours and hours but the main point of this video is that people are too comfortable nowadays and people need to be that voice for themselves like people need to push themselves when no one's looking people need to do things that they had never thought that they would do and build these experiences and really learn to live their lives because it's so sad how many people i'm seeing now and also have family members who just sit in their rooms and who just sit in their rooms and just isolate themselves and especially with covid nowadays um not 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 nowadays with the covid of impact like covid's impact on people where they i feel are so much more anxiety towards interactions and people are just living in their own bubbles and people are just forgetting to live and just experience things and i f just being more positive more happier more content with themselves and this may sound cliche and cringe but what i've noticed is that once i've changed myself when i've changed how my life looks like now where now i'm just so much more contempt with myself and more peace with myself is just a feeling that i would really want other people to experience so yeah i kind of want to end it on this note today bye guys <laughs>